Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to have a bit of a discussion about something that I posted a reel on my Instagram and it kind of low-key popped off. Um, it got, yeah, a lot more views than my normal videos and it's just sort of something about diet culture and how contradicting its messages are. So I want to just have a bit of a chat about that today because it's so much easier just to talk about things than write it in an Instagram post or put it into like a 15 second reel. Before I get into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa. You guys know they have the most beautiful, beautiful jewelry in the world. So some of the new pieces I picked up are this gorgeous little bracelet. I love it. It is just so tiny and dainty. And I love too because I have really small wrists and this actually fits my wrist. Normally bracelets are like hanging off, but it has little flowers and little pearl beads. It's just oh, so pretty. And then again, another dainty piece. I got this little necklace. It's just a nice simple chain with this little diamond and it's just so pretty i love it and i just like keep it on every day it's just so just beautiful and then i got these earrings and i am obsessed they're sort of like a dupe i don't know if you've seen that i think it's the bottega earrings that everyone has that are like three thousand dollars no thank you so these are like a dupe for it and i love them i don't normally do like state see for me this is a statement earring and i don't normally do statement earrings but i love them so much so valentine's day is coming up very soon so it is the perfect chance to get a loved one or treat yourself to some beautiful beautiful pieces to celebrate this day of love and i will have a discount code as well for you below i will pop everything you need to know in the description below so head over to anna louisa and get some beautiful beautiful jewelry okay so basically for this video i am just gonna say the points i don't have anything scripted as usual so i'm just gonna start talking and just sort of see where it goes so yeah i posted this reel about diet cultures contradicting messages and i get just want to extend on that conversation here today so things that diet culture says for example not have fruit like it demonizes fruit at some points and again it's all different points of diet culture it's not obviously just one saying all this stuff but you get some people are telling you, no, don't even have fruit because it's got sugar and sugar is bad. And then you have this other side of diet culture that encourages juice cleansers or eating only fruit. And for people that aren't educated or that fall victim to it, it's like, well, how do they know what to believe, what's right or what's wrong? And I will come to you with the answer later. But yeah, so it's sort of just like, well, we've got someone here is telling me no fruit from sugar is bad. Someone here is telling me only eat fruit, do all these juice cleanses. And then another example, people saying fat is bad. Don't have fat, don't have fat. And then you have this other side encouraging keto and telling people to put freaking butter in their coffee. So again, it's just, it's contradicting itself. And it's saying don't eat foods that have an ingredient list, meaning only eat like fruits, vegetables, grains, like just foods that are what they are. But then also there's this other side that pushes all these expensive supplements that are filled with unregulated ingredients and the longest ingredient list that you don't even know how your body's going to react to it. And it's just, it doesn't make sense. It just, it doesn't. And it's, that's where it's tough because some people are really vulnerable and will believe what someone that they follow on the internet tells them. But the people that are saying this, they say, no, this is like, for example, in some people say intermittent fasting is the be all and all is the solution for everyone but they don't know that because our bodies yes to an extent they are the same but they function so differently and people react and respond to different things so you can't just have like health and nutrition is not a one size fits all and i am a certified accredited nutritionist so i have studied this and i know that you can't just say this one thing is the solution for everyone but people sometimes they just aren't educated and they don't know and they'll just believe what someone tells them if someone says sugar is bad so they cut out sugar and then the next minute they're fearing fruit and fruit is like so many people don't eat enough fruit fruit is so healthy but it's not healthy if that's the only thing you eat so don't go the other route and do all these stupid and unnecessary juice cleanses and don't only eat fruit because that's not healthy either it's everything in moderation yes prioritize having whole foods and lean proteins and healthy fats but don't fear the other things because it's just so harmful and it's not a way that anyone should have to live there are no foods that you need to be afraid of unless you are horribly allergic 
and you don't need to like people say oh gluten and dairy is inflammatory and they cut it out if you're celiac if you are lactose intolerant or have an allergy yes you need to cut it out but so like the gluten thing especially so many people just cut it out because they think they need to when really products that have gluten have so many health benefits like you think of a whole meal or whole grain loaf of bread it is packed it has fiber it has protein it has fats it's got everything it is so nourishing and so healthy but people fear gluten just because someone on the internet says that it's inflammatory and yeah it is to some people but not everyone and that's where you've got to just listen to your own body and do what's right for you because just diet culture it just preys and to know if it's diet culture because it wants to do this it preys on people's insecurities to profit off them diet culture is all about making people fear foods and buy expensive alternatives no don't have this buy this expensive supplement or whatever and it's just so like it's so messed up and it doesn't make sense and diet culture will have you saying that sugar is bad for you but diet culture will also promote saying no have this protein bar that is packed with all these sugar alcohols that will literally make you shit yourself because but it's no sugar so it's healthy but it's like how are we getting to the point where we think sugar is bad but we think this product that will literally make you shit yourself is good is healthy how does that make sense how is that healthy how is a product healthy when on the packet if it says excess consumption may have a laxative effect how is that healthy it's not and diet culture is so messed up and i will never stop preaching about it because it boils my blood so much so that is where i'm going to end today's rant i just could go on about this forever and i just it needs to be talked about it needs to be called out because it is not okay so just i hope this was helpful and i hope this maybe just gives you a bit of peace of mind and just helps you not be so afraid of food so thank you for watching and don't forget to go and check out anna louisa for some beautiful bling because oh, i am obsessed okay i will see you guys next time bye